Hey viewers, this is a continuum of our psychology and the law, and we are going to look at Magnaton rule, the doctrine that is well known in the common law traditions is used in criminal justice proceedings, and in that case it deals with testing the sanity of the person. Remember the presumption of sanity until proven insane. However, this is a question of looking at actual happenings in our communities, in our surroundings, and issues that engage us in questioning the administration of justice. Supposing you are walking along the street and someone hits you on the back and you fall unconscious and when you regain your consciousness of course by reflex you start thinking of what really happened indeed you are still under trauma you are still frightened and you want to know who is who in your surrounding only to realize that the person who had hit you is a mad person and that is known to many people in the neighborhood and the matters get to court and the prosecution charges this person on an assault or murder attempt which is an offense only to realize that the person was considered to be suffering from defect reason of reason, which of course is a disease of mind, and was not able to tell the nature and the quality of his act, nor whether it was wrong. Indeed, this is the nature of McNaughton rule. Daniel McNaughton was an Englishman known to be a hard-working fellow in his neighborhood. One time in London in 1843 it happened that Daniel McNaughton wanted to kill the then Prime Minister Mr. Robert Peel and he saw someone and he pulled out his gun and shot the person dead. Later, the prosecution realized that he killed a wrong person, and in this case, the secretary of the prime minister. The matters taken to the House of Lords was ruled using what today is known as McNaughton Rule. I quote, At the moment of the act, the accused party labored under defect of reason, a disease of mind that could not enable him to tell the nature or the quality of the act, nor tell whether the act was wrong. Close the quote. It is this simple formatting of the ruling that has formed the precedence and is applied in testing the sanity or insanity of the accused in criminal cases. However, still many things can be questioned from this doctrine of McNaughton, such as the time of committing the crime. That means the person suffered some mental disease, and in this case can be known as psychosis, which can be temporary and can be suffered abruptly, then later it can disappear. 
Another thing that is very, very critical in this reading of the doctrine is the question of the defect of reason. How far can we tell whether somebody suffers the defect of reason and whether this is a disease of the mind or rather mental disease or mental pathology. Another thing that is very critical in this analysis is about the capacity to tell the nature or the quality of the act or to tell the moral value of the act whether it is right or wrong. The intent, insofar as it is the volition that is established, Daniel McNaughton wanted actually to kill the prime minister that is established. But by killing a different or a wrong person was a mistake of fact that was caused by defect of reason and therefore, the person acted or labored under mental pathology at that particular material time when the crime was committed. However, still, there are so many questions. In 1984, there was a reform on Insanity Act. And in America, the question of using volition, volition alone or the intent alone to test the mens rea is not sufficient. It is very critical and crucial to test the sanity under the presumption of sane till proven insane. And this is the work of forensic psychologists psychiatrists and medical experts that can be engaged to produce expert testimony known as forensic evidence. And this can inform the court in making decision in the chambers whether to convict or to acquit a charged person on criminal offenses. Thank you very much for watching this video. Peter here, University of Nairobi School of Law, Kisumu Campus, and I expect to see you again very soon. Thanks for today. Bye-bye.